what is going on everyone and today i'm here to show you five pro ways to prevent death in minecraft with absolutely insane and um they're devil things that you can do in minecraft but i wouldn't recommend you doing that because you will be totally dead so if you if you also don't want to die leave a like and make sure to subscribe for you to don't die in your minecraft world and if you are a new minecraft player you should watch this video to the very end so you can prevent your death i really hate this intro guys but let's go ahead and start the video and then you'll die Okay, so um, I built this kind of thing to show off. How I don't know about you guys, but I think this looked terrible. Yeah, definitely terrible. <laughs> Alright, so first one we have here, the mine death scape. Now, we all know the dangers in mining and all of those stuff. And uh, it, sometimes it can be pretty annoying. I definitely get so annoyed when I'm like in a mine and, you know, die because of creepers and zombies in some kind of a cave and then gravel falls on you well, that 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 will be terrible guys let's go ahead here so i am on my mind for example right and then if i quickly grab out my pickaxe and you know torch and zombies for example and you like try the man and go well that's how you mine right and what could be more annoying than than gravel guys gravel that's that's pretty much the most annoying thing that i could see in you know my mind and you just get a break it through and whoa, 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 whoa. and you can actually sometimes it even glitches out and you know floating like there and on its black state and when you like put a block on side of it it will fall on you and you die well uh to prevent that, you just need to put a torch underneath you so that the gravel will, you know, break through and we all know this, I think. And yeah, pretty much if you want, you don't have a shovel, you forgot to bring a shovel, you could just, okay, you just need proper timing. I can't get this right. I definitely can't get this right. There we go. And yeah, it should crush all of the gravels in it. We should try it again. Proper timing. Just need a proper timing, guys. And I'm really bad at this, but let's let's come on, guys. There we go. I finally made it. And yeah, and now the zombie, which is, uh, for example, a cave. And you, oh, I found a cave. And you know, for example, okay, let's just break that torch over there. Put the torch there. For, for the torch. Okay, so for example, okay, so for example. A, you know, you found a cave and uh, and you were like, oh, look, guys, I found a cave and uh, and a zombie just suddenly fall on you and how how could you pretend him for you you know to run away because you don't have armor enough and uh, yeah that's pretty much easy for beginners even for me I just I just put block in there oh there we go so something like that or in there I I don't know about you guys but I. Uh, I suddenly use this trick to prevent mob from attacking me. So, for example, zombie falls on you, put a block there, so it should block the zombie and, you know, prevent him from killing you and you can just kill him uh, like that. You can just kill him like that. Even a creeper, you can do it a creeper, but what I recommend is shooting a creeper, shooting an arrow to a creeper, so it should work 100% uh, sure. Let's put it back on the shulker box here. Let's go back to the showcase. Okay, so we're back over here. Now, we have done this one. We've got the second one, which is the death of the heights. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I'm totally, 100% legitimately afraid of heights. I'm definitely afraid of heights. I test it out. Even in Minecraft, I'm kind of afraid of heights. I don't know, guys. But, for example, you're, like, in here, and... Uh, um, you're being chased by a mob, which is like zombies, uh, especially skeletons, which makes me wanna cry because uh, I definitely hate skeletons in some kind of a like this. For example, that this is a cliff or a ravine.
for example you're being chased by a skeleton and it will try to knock you over or even a zombie it will try to knock you over into the clip and what will you do to prevent you from you know uh dying so what i recommend is using a uh, block of quartz or any random block literally anything like cobblestone any block that you have in your inventory at that time and make a bridge to the other cliff now for example i'm being chased by a skeleton now how can i prevent him from killing me you just gotta make a bridge quick bridge guys you just gotta do this like go bam bam just just look up up and i accidentally put blocks in there you just gotta do this guys you just gotta look down and quick put in and uh, yeah you make a quick bridge now if you're a you know uh obviously a uh, uh skywars player or a you know all of those sub players and uh, i don't even know what the, you call that anymore but if you like that you should know about this because the this is what you do if you want to go to an, another another island to prevent falling uh, yeah i certainly do this in if i like in the hive server and i play skywars i definitely do that and i do not Take, you just need some little bit of a practice to perfect that then I accidentally put some blocks on the top of the showcase but uh, let's forget about it. let's forget about it okay so the next is we've got the D lava pit now we all hate lava pit which I don't know about you guys but I definitely hate lava pit but when I saw it and you know it's like dark and all zombies coming out and knock me up that clip and uh, i don't have any armor and i die into the lava what will i do is well bring a water bucket what? <laughs> i don't know about you guys but i always put water bucket in my inventory at all time i water bucket can be used at literally anything to prevent dying you can just you can use this as any man. You can use the, this water to prevent your crash, uh, fall damage. Uh, you, you, can, you can literally do anything with water. So, for example, you're being chased again with a mob. For example, hostile mob like zombies. And you go, we want to go and, yo, yo, uh, lava, oh, and the zombies, is, he's coming, and I'm, I'm gonna keep running. You're just gonna do that, guys. And the lava is, uh, uh, well, the lava is gone, which is, uh... Let's put this in Alright, well, let's go. We're almost done, guys. So we got the next is the creeper escape. Again, we've got here another chapel room. For example, that we got a creeper over here. We go into here in our showcase, and, uh... Uh, let's go to daytime over here, guys. And that you guys can all see, I mean, like some kind of a custom, a custom, uh, a custom, what do you call this? Um, some kind of a custom forest here, guys? I don't know, but let's just think, or let's just imagine that there, that this is a, a you know a forest we're inside of some kind of a forest and it's daytime well so actually sometimes hostile mobs should spawn underneath trees so underneath trees or any dark places so but except you know light and uh, you know like zombies and skeletons they don't like daylight right but creepers don't pretty much get hurt by daylight i don't know why but i kind of like hate that one that feature i like wanna keep creepers away even if it is daytime so let's go ahead and try to go in difficulty of easy now for example we have here and you're just walking around in this lovely old forest and you saw a creeper and don't blow up please and it's chasing you now what you want to do is go into a river which is which has water and let him blow go near him and look what will happen guys we take barely any damage what? I, I said we use it guys 
I or I could even uh, recommend bringing a water bucket and litter. Let the creeper blow on you. Look at that. Boom. Look, look at that. Yeah, look how damage it takes me. One more time. I, I gotta see this. Look, this is cute. This is. This is that one. Oh, creeper. Oh, creeper. Oh, I did not take damage. How is that possible? I, 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 you gotta try this, guys. You gotta, you gotta try this. I can... Hang there, because we got... Hang in there, guys, because we got one more, which is the unfriendly iron golem. Now, we all know that iron golems love villagers, and, uh, they don't like villagers being hit by someone, or even a player. Even, look, guys. For example, you're like inside of a village, like uh, an iron golem should spawn naturally inside of a village. And for example, you kill the villager and now the iron golem is chasing you. Or you accidentally punch the iron golem like this. That's a normal summon iron golem. But if I punch that, she, oh no, you need to turn the difficulty to uh, easy first or normal so it should attack you. Look at that, guys. It will try killing me now. For Look at that, guys. It will try knocking me down right now. But how can you actually prevent it from attacking you? Which is, um, I suddenly used this trick for them. Uh oh, they, they're getting too many, guys. Uh, please die. Oh my goodness. I, I, this should be a big mess, guys. But uh, I'll be back. I, I, I promise. <laughs> Uh, so they're dead now. Just, just go, gotta grab one of these items. Let's go one more and we'll try putting over there. Oh, okay, so I managed to put the iron golem in out of this, uh, his cage or whatever you call that. Okay, let's try that again. If we need... If you didn't angle it, it will, you know, attack back. If you did, if you did not summon him yourself, but if you summon him, he will protect you till the end of his life. But if you're not, if you're just, you know, ordinary, just summon somewhere randomly, randomly, he will try to kill you. What will I recommend is, if you want to grab his iron or he's already attacking you, let's try to make him attack me. And yeah. I'm gonna blow up, and what will I recommend is build a tree blocks high block and try to kill him down. Look at that, guys. He can't reach me. He can't reach me, huh? What? What? And that's easy. So, the arm going dead is pretty much safe. You're safe from the arm going, but the only problem is the arm going dead. You like, you're like. You're like the original murder machine, guys. Um, but at least you got some iron. But that's another end for another video. And I hope you guys did learn something. And if you do, make sure to leave a like. Make sure to subscribe. And hit that notification bell. So you don't miss a brand new Minecraft upload of my channel. And please, guys, keep up watching uh my all of my videos because i'm promising you i'm fingers crossing i'm hoping that you that you should keep up on the channel because uh i i i, I really want to grow this channel guys so help me grow my channel leave a like and subscribe for more awesome content like this thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next one but until then but until then I'm out. Peace.